We want to drive something that resembles Miami. Right, this is a brand new pleasure. Today in retail sales, we're talking about $1.2 million. You got that ad finished? That's a simple day here at Prestige Airport. As a matter of fact, it's a slow day. Good. Good. Brett David is kind of the boy wonder of supercars. He's the number one Audi dealer in the country, the number one Lamborghini dealer in the country. Already sold more than one billion dollars worth of cars, and he's only 26 years old. You kind of want to hate the guy, and then you get to know him. 2012, Lamborghini Aventador. I got in the business when I was about 15, 16 years old, next to my father having an opportunity to work up my way through different departments. When you were a kid, did you learn how to do oil changes on Lamborghinis? I had to, and I have to tell you one thing I don't miss was the grease beyond the fingers like my boy Nick has over there. <laughs> that was one thing I definitely don't miss. The first vehicle I ever sold was to Missy Elliott, the recording artist, and it was by default. I was sitting at the gas station at the right place at the right time, and a silver Ferrari pulls into the lot, the door opens, and Missy Elliott gets out of the car. And as I got out of the car, I threw the Frank Sinatra line, and I said, Missy, if you want to be somebody, you drive a Ferrari. If you already are somebody, you own a Lamborghini. What are we doing wrong here? And the next day she came in and bought herself a lime green Mercy Lager. Brett David has a lot of really famous clients. Missy Elliott, Timbaland, Lenny Kravitz. He's got billionaires. He's got just about every sports star in Miami. But to get the true Brett David experience, you need to go with him on a drive. In Miami, in a $225,000 Lamborghini at 100 miles an hour. Packing a small suitcase and heading to the Keys. Top down, yeah. Arrow Spider, this is what the finds land. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Have you ever had customers buy Lamborghini as a gift for a Christmas present or a birthday present for somebody? Oh, many times. We have really? all the time, yes. We had a great car enthusiast who's a woman, and we had the husband who purchased the wife a gift, and it's now going to be delivered on Valentine's Day for a brand new Gallardo Spider. She's getting a Gallardo Spider for Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day. And what's that cost? That price tag, with everything said and done, is going to range about two hundred forty-three thousand dollars. <laughs> wow, that certainly beats a box of chocolates, huh? Of course, it's a little <laughs> different than roses, but I'm sure he'll get a little kiss at the end of the night. Yeah, I'm sure he will. <laughs> You must have a sales record of clients that have purchased large numbers of Lamborghinis over the years. Which client do you think has purchased the most? Would that be six or eight or? No, I would probably tell you that number is probably more like 27, 28 vehicles within a period of three years. That guy also has the series of every Gallardo and every Murcielago or Aventador that they have to offer him. So some of our customers just can't settle for one. They have to have it. I guess that's what makes Miami different, unique. You know, on the surface, Brett is this really sunny, successful guy. But deep down, he is haunted by a very dark tragedy. It was the moment that changed his world. When my father unfortunately passed away in 2007, I was 19 years old. I knew right then and there that life was going to change. I knew that with him gone, there was really nobody else in Miami. After Brett's dad died, the family got together to read the will. They thought the dealership was going to stay in the family, maybe even go to Brett. But it turns out his dad had different plans. There was a letter from my father that stated, Brett, if you're in this business and I had passed, I passed because of stress of the business. And I have no interest in you continuing. All right, brother. All right, let's do that. And then find the other in his will, Brett's dad said he didn't want to give Brett all of that stress and therefore didn't want to give him the dealership. But Brett thinks there was a different reason, really that Brett's dad did not think he could do it and that he wasn't ready. So Brett is very determined. He fought the lawyers, he fought the trustees, he brought his family together and he got the dealership. And today it is a huge success, more than $200 million in sales just last year. What's up, brother? 
How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. You been all right? You finally, you. finally ready for something? Leandro is a perfect example of a new time buyer coming from Brazil to Miami. Now it's time for him to come and purchase a toy. I'll take a seat in this. Okay, let's try. Very comfortable. This guy looks so exactly. angry. It does, right? I love it. Completely. I love it. That's, and the way I see it here is totally different. That one, you stay more comfortable. Mm -hmm. This one looks like it's ready to race. So back in South America, do you ever see Lamborghinis on the street? It's very difficult to find one of those cars. That's why when we come here, we all want to have one of those. The guys coming in to buy $200,000 sports cars are not who you think. It's not middle-aged guys from Boca with the shiny shirts and the white shoes. It's really guys in their 20s and 30s from Mexico, from Venezuela, a lot from Brazil. Brett told me that the guy coming in with a suit, he's not buying a car. The guy coming in with cargo shorts and flip-flops, he just got off his yacht and he's buying. But you see the excitement you have? You see it? They're purchasing vehicles to live a lifestyle in Miami that they can't live back home. And Miami's become that new international playground where Vegas was once before. Yeah, turn it off. Yeah. I haven't sold the Lamborghini to somebody that spoke English as our primary language in months and months. We've had to change our entire sales force to be able to have somebody that caters for each type of person from all over the world. This is elegant, proper, and look at the interior. I love it. Brett David and Prestige Imports is the number one Lamborghini dealership in the country. He's in Miami, a town defined by glitz and glam, and he's taken Flash to a whole new level. A few years ago, he took a $300,000 Gallardo and had a local artist paint it with Sharpie pens. Everyone's saying, you're ruining this car with magic markers, but it looked fantastic and it was a huge success. Everybody saw the Project AU79 video, right? The goal with Project AU79 was we wanted to create a social experiment, to take a little bit of our world and mix it with a little bit of youth and do something on the marketing side that was a little bit ungeneric. There's only one thing flashier than a Lamborghini in Miami, and that's a Lamborghini Miami wrapped in gold. It was a 70-day process where a majority of the vehicle was stripped down. So I'm talking hoods, doors, bumpers, lights, everything was taken apart to then be reapplied. It's really like a piece of jewelry that goes 150 miles an hour. I drive it daily and I have a blast with it. <coughs> Getting that car out on the road and having different individuals see the car driving and my customers having experience seeing that car pass them by. It's different than having the car sit in the showroom with the doors up and always looking pretty. And it really goes to show you what Lamborghini is as a brand, how far they've come today to be able to drive a car of $500,000 on top of it being wrapped in gold. The right consumer that's gonna respect the brand and respect what the car is, I definitely, definitely sell it.